Hello, I'm Paige Ponchin, and this is The Shadows That Run Alongside Our Car. Uh, it's a visual novel from 2016 by Lox Rain. Uh, it has uh, content warnings for mentions of suicide, killing violence, and explicit language. Uh, the general premise uh, is that there are two strangers in a car, and there are shadows chasing them. <laughs> I mean, I'm still debating, because uh, it's not really clear from reading the description if um, it's like actually supernatural, or if it's like, I don't know, metaphorical, like the shadows, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's two strangers in a car, you can plot a uh, play from either of their perspectives. Um, I'm not, I think it's supposed to be a shorter game, but there's like six endings, I think? Uh, probably not gonna get all six, but, you know, <laughs> we'll see. I'm definitely not gonna get all six, but we'll see if I do more than one, I guess. Okay, so I guess we can start. Whose eyes will you see the road through? Uh, I guess theirs. Gun it. I lay back against the passenger seat. It's weird, sitting on the side of the car. But my stomach's been feeling off for a while and I just can't drive. So I've handed my keys over to the stranger. Probably not the best idea. Gonna be real, but you know, he looks trustworthy. What's the worst that could happen, right? Stare out the window, watching the unchanging chaining. The unchanging scenery was by. There's an awkward silence, but I don't feel like filling it. It's so stuffy in the car. I reach for the window control button and let the window roll open. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just gonna hurl themselves at a moving car. So it is like a like a zombie situation. See, I was debating if it was gonna be like a literal shadows, <laughs> like shadow creatures, um, or like if it was just like a metaphor for like their dark past or something. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so it's zombies. <clears throat> well, who knows? Who knows? Maybe they should. What? <laughs> Who knows, maybe they would. <laughs> Fair enough. Slight breeze feels good against my neck. This guy looks like he wants to say something. So, uh, I guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but, uh, what's your name anyway? After three days? Right, we never did introduce ourselves. It's... Oh. Uh, we're... we're... We're, we're peachy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, perfect. Nah, I feel like that'll be long to read. We'll just- her name's Peach. Perfect. Peach. Well, nice to officially meet you, Peach. My name's... Dustin is- Dustin's a good name. Dustin. <clears throat> okay. He looks dissatisfied. Was he expecting me to react? It's not like I really care, but somehow he doesn't look very much like a Dustin. I continue staring out the window. The sky is so red. Normally, I'd think it was pretty, but now it's just depressing me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bad things come out after dark. I remember that all too well. I'd rather not think about that, so I decide to break the si silence after all. So, uh, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. He looks surprised. I guess I haven't been talking much since we met. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You know, this and that. I've never really settled into one thing in particular. What does that mean? It's weird. Whatever. <laughs> she just seems a little... I don't know, what would the word be for that? Just distant? I don't know. Uh, apathetic? Uh, 
uh, uh, that was weird. He doesn't sound like he really wants to talk about it. I wonder what his job really was. Maybe he was just a trash collector. He does look kind of dirty. So judgmental. Well, I shouldn't be rude. I'm not much of a catch myself. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Hmm. Yeah, well, it's really my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, I was the only one who ever drove it. After God, Dad got that third DUI, his license was revoked. He used that as an excuse to never leave the house. See, I had a friend, uh... <laughs> Who, her dad kept getting a bunch of DUIs and they put one of those like alcohol breathalyzers in the car uh, and he would just make his, his kids blow into it for him to drive. Yeah, it was really fucked up. <laughs> it was just as well anyway. Sometimes he'd leave the car somewhere and forget where. Ah, uh, guess he uh, didn't. Sorry, never mind. I'm feeling surprisingly calm about this. It's like I'm on the outside looking in. I wonder if I'm really that callous. Maybe the apocalypse is just giving me more perspective. It's okay. Booze would have killed him eventually anyway. So I'm getting like an audio crackle from the game. And I'm not sure if it's just like my headphones of the game or like if I'm needing to adjust something, but... I don't know, I hope it's fine. I hope it's not picking up. If it is, uh, pretend that it isn't. So don't mind me. Okay. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Yeah, take a hint already. Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Still. You think there are any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it couldn't hurt to look, though. I reach towards the console and turn the dial in one direction. <laughs> one direction. Okay, anyway. <laughs> There's nothing but static. Sometimes metallic screeching. Great. Hang on a sec, go back down. Hmm. What did he hear exactly? There couldn't really be something there, could there? I slowly rotate the knob back the other way. Wait. There it is, I think. Oh, heck yeah. Is that... Mariachi? Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot believe out of all the music there could be they could be playing. That could be playing. This is what we get. What am I thinking? Of course it is. Of course we're on a highway to hell in the dark, and the mariachi is the only music available to us. I'm kinda of vibing with it. <laughs> the combination of Spanish vocals and horns on the track are completely ridiculous right now. I'm actually dying. The dulcet tones of this fabulous man are actually killing me. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Who the hell's out there running this? All the music that would be left. Man. It takes me a minute to settle down, but then... Wait, isn't this the same song again? Ugh, it's probably on an endless loop. Because why wouldn't it be... Typical. Sure seems that way. Guess it's just ghosts on the waves after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What do you think a zombie even listens to? Is death metal too obvious of an answer? Rob Zombie? Where? Maybe they're all into baby metal these days. Baby metal? I don't know. I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I've always wondered this. What are they grateful for, exactly? Also, the static? Is that just my headphones, or is that, like, intentional? I think it's... A... I 
think it's just part of it. Is it like ambiance? We're gonna say it is. You know what, this is intentional. Anyway. Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? Wish they'd let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now, anyway. Well, except for that. Gestures towards the console. 101.7, it's now the Infinite Loop Mariachi radio station. So, uh, what are you into, anyway? Music-wise, I really like... Alanis Morissetti. Top 40 hits, and that sort of thing. Not like I had a lot of free time to explore my musical taste or anything. You, and don't tell me it's baby metal. What is baby metal? Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. So is it a band? He doesn't have to know that I unironically like baby metal. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but... Well, you'll probably actually judge me more for this. <laughs> Try me. Abba. <laughs> listen, that's not... You know, they've got some bangers. <laughs> oh, Michael, uh, there's like three or four of their songs I absolutely love. Oh my god. I can't keep a straight face. I lose it. Everything is just too much. It looks kinda sullen. I'm sorry, Dustin, but not that sorry. Told you. No, 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 it's fine. The music's sketchy. True. I managed to get these words out. All this laughing's making my stomach hurt more than it. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents, yeesh. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I am pretty sure there is no right answer to that question. Except for one. I'm 22. Oh dang. Look at that. Solid age, a solid age. Hmm. What kind of reaction is that? No, whoa. You look so young. Or anything like that? I wonder how old Dustin is, anyway. This music's kind of similar to Abba, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? You should be happy to have it. It's sure an optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. He perfectly reaches over and shuts off the radio. Huh. He's got a surprisingly immature side to him, too. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? What? Where did that come from all of a sudden? Pause immediately changed the subject. Uh, pause. Why do you have to ruin the mood like that? It's getting dark, huh? The sun sets so late in the summer. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the streetlights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. That sounds kind of morbid, but... Kind of fitting for the end of the world. So is it like the things only come out at night? I guess you'd want to fill up at, like, on gas in the evening if that was the case. If there was any gas left. Hmm. It's silent again for a little while, but it doesn't last. So you never told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well. Hmm. What do you like to do? Or what did you do before everything? Like to do, huh? I turn my eyes to the window if I think, as I think of my life. Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. We wake up, shower, go to work. Have a lunch break, go back to work. Get off work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. And the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. And after leading such a boring life, I ended up here. 
Probably not even gonna go out with a bang. My death's gonna be just as dull as my life. And I guess that'd be most people's story. It's tough out there. Well, it's tough. Probably tougher now. <laughs> All kind of pointless. All kind of pointlessness in that end, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> All kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damned hell off and everything goes to pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend all your time- I don't know if it's the, the- the font that's throwing me off, or if I- I just need to like, slow down. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? That's deep. He's just trying to sound cool. I mean, it's true. A lot of people do have to just work and sleep and work and sleep and, and then at a certain point it's kind of, I don't know, you have to look back on it and then be like, oh, what did I do? Oh, I worked and I slept and I ate, which a lot of people don't have a choice, but you know, at a certain point, especially if it was the end of the world, you'd look back on that and you know, it would probably not feel great. <laughs> It's actually exactly how I feel about it, too. I'm surprised that I'm actually able to relate to him. Yeah. But, I guess that doesn't change- that doesn't matter either way. Zombies don't care whether you're a good or bad person. We're all gonna die anyway. So, what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. I used to travel a lot. Looking for work and stuff. But I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Did he backpass across Europe or something? What does nomad mean in this context? Well, whatever. Sounds really cliche. I'm really doing slightly different voices for them. I don't know if it's even audibly a difference, but I keep <laughs> mixing them up because I don't see like the little, little directions pointing. That sounds really cliche. Not really. It sort of suits you. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point. I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Okay, but who doesn't, you know? Or you're... <laughs> When you're really depressed and you're like, I wish I could just, you know, disappear for three months and then come back at the end of that three month period and feel better. You know? <laughs> it is probably a sign of depression, though. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? I used to wish for that, too. I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be responsible for dad anymore. Now I'm not, but I can't say whether that's really a good thing or not. Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, monkey's paw. My stomach starts to throb painfully. I look down and press my hand against it. Felt okay for a while there, but it's acting up again. I wonder what's wrong with her stomach. Like, is she dying? Or, like... Sick? I don't... I'm curious, so I feel like that's gonna come into play. God, why did this all have to happen? Still feeling nauseous? Hmm? Damn, I shouldn't be so obvious about it. I don't want to cause any trouble. This might be causing even more trouble, though. Oh, yeah, it's gotten a little better, but... Anyway, I moved my hand away from my stomach. and smell like resting my hand there will make the pain go away. In a way, as long as I feel that pain, I know I'm still alive. That was morbid as hell. What's wrong with me? I'm just exhausted. Which doesn't help things. You know how it is. You think we should stop and rest? Glance at the full, uh, the fuel gauge on the dashboard, nervous. We barely have one-fourth of a tank left as it is. Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopped soon anyway. <clears throat> <clears throat> Breaking would just waste gas. Onward it is, then. Trying to ignore my pain, I keep my eyes on the endless road stretched out ahead of us. I wonder what kind of road they're on where there's just like no like empty cars walking the way and I can just drive freely. It really hurts now. 
I don't think I've ever been in this much pain in my life. That's saying a lot, considering that what I have to go through. Considering what I have to go through every month. Oh, <laughs> it took me a second to know what that was saying. I deserve this, don't I? I shouldn't feel bad about it. I brought it on myself. You ever wonder, like, why us? How did we make it this far? Is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? From the moment I swung that baseball bat, I sealed my own fate. So as I start to think, sink into really dark thoughts, I hear Dustin's voice. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. But I stop to wonder what my own life was worth. I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here. That's what matters. Despite it all, we're here and we're safe. How and why of it is just garnish of the, on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we were really facing the apocalypse or whatever. Just the first couple of months, I just kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. Okay, realistically. If there was an apocalypse, that's what would happen. I think we've all seen with the pandemic that, you know, things maybe, maybe temporarily shut down, like a little, but then immediately wrap, ramp back up. Gotta fuel the capitalist machine. <laughs> Woo! And then, then I couldn't ignore it anymore. And then dad... How do I even begin to explain? Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but... Your old man. What happened? My dad? I killed him. I smacked him in the head with a baseball bat and then ran like hell. Huh. So he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in the nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another. Just so happened that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. Does it count as murder if you kill a zombie? Does it count as murder you never get arrested because your town's entire police force is now undead? It's pretty pathetic, huh? But so is my dad. So am I. In the end, I won't be doing much better. My stomach is burning with pain now, and guilt. I stare out the window, seeing nothing but darkness. Who knows what could be lurking out there? Though that hasn't changed since way before, I guess. I feel like the the game's gonna end with them running out of gas. That's my my feeling. Although there's six ending, so. Okay. Aww. Feel a sudden warmth on top of my hand. Hesitant at first, but then steady. Dustin hand, Dustin's hand envelops mine, and I feel comforted. Safe. We're still here. Just remember that. Till that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with get on with him, I bet it must be hard losing someone that close to you. That was cute. Wow, where do I even start? To be honest, you know, honesty is a good policy. Generally speaking. And he seems chill. For some reason, I feel like I can be honest with Dustin. Even though I barely know him, I trust him. Somehow. Mouth opens all on its own, and words spill out. Honestly, I felt relieved when he died. And I felt awful for feeling relieved. But I spent seven years of my life taking care of him. At the end of it all, I just felt free. Not that I got to enjoy the feeling of freedom for long. It makes me feel like a monster to admit all of this to someone else. It really does. But that's the truth. I wouldn't worry too much. 
There's no wrong way to feel. He's right. I know that I'm only human. I'm not a monster, not yet anyway. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around long around in a long while. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out here, like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Dustin, I... can't go on like this. Just keeping it to myself. Hey, Dustin. There's something I need to tell you. Is she infected? Oh, I hope not. That'd be so sad. I think she's infected. Oh, no. Then he's gonna be alone again. And, ugh. Ugh. I touch my stomach lightly with the palm of my hand. Searing pain reminds me that I am no longer entirely human. I gave my humanity up when I killed my dad. I think her dad better, maybe. I should have said something before. I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. I didn't even hesitate. I swung that baseball bat as hard as I could. And he bit me in the stomach as a parting gift as he crumpled to the ground. Even in death, dad still found some way to screw me over. I... Hey, stop. It's okay. I always blame Dad for Mom leaving us. He was selfish. He was an asshole. He was this, he was that. Just look at me. I've put Dustin's life in danger. I lied to him since the day we met. I'm... I'm my father's daughter. But I... Just... Be calm, alright? We don't really know how this all works, so... I think he already knew. Maybe there's a way. I'm so sorry. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected it to. I mostly just feel cold and hungry. I'm not even sure if it has anything to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this, I looked down at my stomach. I might think I just imagined it. I wish... I wish I was dreaming right now. I wish this wasn't reality. I wish I was dead. Careful there. Remember that thing about wishes. Monkey's paw, right? I guess sitting in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver lining. <laughs> Retail. Almost as bad as zombies. Worse, probably. Anyway, you should sleep if you want to. We'll probably be on this road a while. A while, huh? Well, rest does sound nice. Always had to get up so early for work. Not used to being up this late. I'm starting to feel really sleepy. Yeah, you're right. Will you... will you make sure to wake me up if anything happens? My mind flashes to the baseball bat, still in my trunk. I... No, I won't think about that right now. Of course. And hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back here at- or back there at any rate. Yeah, maybe there'll be a gas station that plays both Atlantis and Napa. I don't think that's a gas station, I think that's at a radio station. <laughs> I was like, touching the hand. <laughs> Maybe I've been running ever since Mom left. I never looked back, just kept going. It was all I could do to keep from falling apart. Dustin and I, we've both done enough. We've both gotten farther than I ever thought possible. I notice that the fuel gauge light is on and feel strangely at peace. Close my eyes, smiling as my consciousness already starts to drift. Wherever this road goes, whatever lies at the end of it, we live. The proof of that will remain, no matter what. So for now, let's just keep going forward. Oh. Oh. That was incredibly short. I am very surprised. <laughs> 
Okay, so I guess the different endings is just kind of like what terms they're on with each other, like whether she's like told him the truth or not. That's really interesting. I really liked that game. I wish it was longer, honestly. It was really good. I really like their like dynamic. Dustin seemed very, uh, very chill. <laughs> very nice. I'm guessing the ending's also very considering like who you play. So if you play like one person and you're a jerk, or if you are super nice or whatever. I'm curious how you get six endings from that. So I could easily imagine like four, but six seems like a lot. Yeah. Hmm. It was a very nice game. I liked it a lot. I'm so I'm still surprised it was like zombies. I was not expecting zombies. Yeah, that was... I liked it. I'm debating now if I want to um, try to get other endings and like record them, or if I'm content <laughs> with just the setting. Because I, I don't think there's going to be that much variation, honestly, with the other like routes. Um, I imagine it would just be some different dialogue and then kind of like a different tone at the end. Yeah, I'll probably leave it at this. Probably. But anyways, that was the shadows that run alongside our car. I really enjoyed it, and I hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!